graphics in HP with a no bootable device error. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is remove any devices like USBs because your computer can try to boot off these instead of your solid state or hard drive, solid state drive or hard drive. Next, if that doesn't work, we're going to try hitting the power button and we're going to immediately start tapping on the escape key. And we're going to, once we get to the what's called the boot menu, on your keyboard you're going to select F10 to enter BIOS setup because improperly set BIOS settings is the leading cause for issues when you're trying to boot. So using your arrow keys, you're going to tap over to system configuration. And then you're going to use your arrow key to go down to boot options and hit enter. So we're going to try changing these options. We're going to try one of two things. If it's set with so legacy support disabled and secure boot enabled, you're going to reverse those. And you're going to try enabling legacy and disabling secure boot. Restart your computer. If there's no change, then you go back and you do it again and you revert it back to the way it was and then we move on to the UEF boot order. So next thing that we check is the UEF boot order. You should have where it says, see how it says OS boot manager? That should be at the top or your hard drive or solid state drive, however it lists it. And you can move these up and down with your F5 and F6 keys. Save and exit. If your computer restarts and immediately starts working, excellent. If not, we're going to move on to the next step in the troubleshooting method. The next step in the troubleshooting method is trying to test your hard drive. So you hit power and immediately tap on escape. Once we're in the boot menu, you're going to use your function keys and you're going to tap on F2 to enter system diagnostic. I'm going to arrow it down, storage test, enter, quick test, enter. Now, if my hard drive or solid state drive pass, then we're going to move on to the next step. Having gone back to the main menu, I'm going to arrow down and hit exit. If your hard drive fails, we have a video down below on how to replace it. I hit yes, and now I'm back at my boot menu. I'm going to enter system recovery and I'm going to reset my computer. If you can't access the screen, don't worry. You have other options we'll mention at the bot back, um, end of the video. So once I'm in the screen, I hit troubleshoot reset this PC and then you can use the keep my files method it doesn't work as well um, but remove everything is more likely to fix your problem but you can try this one first and always come back to this remove everything method I'm going to use remove everything because it just tends to work better local reinstall and I'm going to click on local reinstall um, you could use the cloud download uh, but it tends, you have to have it hooked up to a, the internet and it doesn't always work. So we're going to use the local reinstall. Same thing, it's going to ask you the same thing, just remove my files versus fully clean the drive. I'm going to go for fully clean the drive. Keep in mind, this will, you will lose all your data. Um, there's just no way around it, unfortunately. And so then I'm going to hit reset and it will go ahead and reset my PC. Now once again, if you can't get to this screen, the other option is to try a fresh install of Windows. Uh, we have a video down below on how to do that. It's not as hard as you would think, and it sometimes works better than a reset. We'll show you how to make a uh, Windows 11 installation USB, and then we'll get you up and going. But anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, like and share. And as always, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.